Hey there friends and enemies, Jopi here again and today I want to talk about the brand new Escalation of Freedom update we got today in Helldivers 2 and I was able to play this for a while after the patch and I think it does some things very well but also I do have some long term concerns. Anyway, jumping right into it, we did get the level 10 difficulty Super Hell Dive. I wasn't able to play this as of yet because I wanted to test a bunch of other things out first, but adding new options like this I think is very good for the hardcore players. Not everyone's going to try this out, but it is a new challenge for those looking for it. We also got some new mission objectives, which could be very good. Change up the way we do some of these various objectives, and I think that's a good thing as well. Bigger enemy outposts, especially when talking about the level 10 difficulty again good stuff there i do feel like more condensed action is a good thing for certain missions just because it allows you to change up your loadout what kind of game plan you have going in instead of just kind of roaming the map as much having a bit of variety there so you have both options i think is ultimately a good thing we got some new bugs and bots the impaler especially is insane i think it's hilarious and i really like fighting that thing just because it's a different type of enemy than anything else we have in the game we also got the uh, rocket tank which is a massive pain and the reinforced scout strider both of those are Terrible. Now, the two that I think are most interesting to me are the Sport Charger and the Alpha Commander, both of which are actually insane, and I do feel like they add a bit more to gameplay. The Alpha Commander looks absolutely huge, and so you'll see that a bit in the gameplay. It was crazy running into that for the first time. New Swamp Planet haven't been there yet, and then we also got Environmental Hazards Acid Storms. But Next up, we're going to talk about the balancing. So they increase the stagger force, spread, and drag of the slugger. I'm not sure how much that changes things, but they did nerf the breaker incendiary, decrease the number of mags, and increase recoil. Now, this weapon was very strong, but I do have concerns because I don't feel like they buffed anything else at all to replace this and that's really where my frustration lies with this game at times is that while nerfs i think are necessary for games like this if something is absolutely broken i also don't like when it doesn't replace that meta essentially it doesn't have anything to fill the void that feels really good to use oftentimes if you're going to bring something down you want to bring other things up maybe not to that broken level but Things that are underutilized and things that people are not equipping at all, you want those to have a chance to shine, in my opinion. And that's something this game doesn't do often enough. And I think is a big part of the frustration overall is so many of the things can feel underwhelming, the weapons, that there's no reason to use them. So that's that's really where my frustration is. Grenade pistol, the decrease the ammo capacity from eight to six and increase the number of rounds replenished from ammo box. So a nerf, but like if you're using ammo boxes consistently, not a big one. Exploding crossbows now one handed. I think that could come in handy, especially as the only primary weapon that is like that. The guard dog increased the number of magazines from six to eight. This is interesting. I tried it out. It still doesn't feel great. It's not my favorite thing. You'll see it in the gameplay. I wanted to see how it works. It's better. Overall, I still do not prefer it compared to other stratagems personally. Orbital walking barrage, increase the number of salvos and decrease movement speed. Orbital 120 MMHE barrage, decrease cooldown and reduce time between salvos. Again, these are two that have largely been underwhelming and I think ultimately those are good changes to try to make them more viable. I just don't know if they're enough to replace some of the better options in the game. Having them as a alternative, though, I think is ultimately going to be a good thing. They also did a bunch of gameplay changes as well. Uh, gunship patrols are less frequent. Gunship engines are less durable. Changes that I think are good overall. A bunch of crash fixes as well, which I think is good. I know some people were having some problems with that ultimately. Fixed a bunch of descriptions and stuff like that. Arc Blitzer, you can now fire, uh, hold the fire button to shoot continuously which I think is great. Uh, Blitzer and the Plasma Punisher added missing armor penetration tags. Again, good. Maybe we'll see use in those. They moved the grenade pistol and the dagger and the bushwhacker to the special sidearm category. And yeah, some, some solid changes. So I think overall pretty good. 
Oh, the guard dog also can now be refilled at ammo boxes found on the map. Again, I think ultimately that's a good thing. And making some of these less used options more viable is absolutely important. I just don't know if they did enough of that, especially because we don't know how strong the new flamethrower that's coming out in the war bond is going to be. That doesn't drop for another couple days. And... I do wonder if they're going to be, because of the feedback we've given in past uh, for the various war bonds, if they're going to overtune the flamethrower, the handheld one, and that's going to leave the base flamethrower not really viable in usage either. So a lot of interesting changes here, a lot of things that I think are good overall and a step in a solid direction to draw people back into the game. But ultimately, I do feel like we need some more variety of usable weapons as well as stratagems as well as uh, more variety in terms of play styles. And that's something that can be a little bit frustrating in this game. Not the end of the world, nothing too crazy. I think balance overall is in a decent spot, but I do feel like it could be better for sure. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Are you checking out the brand new update? Is there anything in it that you like or don't like that you feel like could be improved upon? I would love to hear from you guys. If you want to see more Helldivers 2 content from me, I'm definitely going to check out the new War Bond. I have a lot of resources saved to try to unlock as much of that as possible. So stay tuned for all of that. I'm going to make a full-blown fire build, which should be hilarious. But Anyway, my name is Jopa. I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a good one. I'll catch you all later.